if I'm walking in a hay field or even if I'm on a horse and I'm walking across some open landscape. Even though I was very young when my grandfather passed away, I feel that connection with him and with his father because they fought. Like they really struggled against the land, against everything to make a place for themselves. And I feel a part of that. The ranch is special, I think, most importantly because of my family. My uh, great-grandfather, George Frolic, immigrated from what would now be the Slovak Republic at the late 1800s. He came over with nothing. And it was really a farming kind of based operations through the 20s and 30s. In the 40s, they started to get into the cattle business. And it continued that way into the 90s. And uh, that's kind of where I came on. We're in the thompson Nicola Valley. When this area was first settled, 1850-ish, everybody came by the river, and so they settled on the river. And of course, the best farmland is on the river. And up into the hills and onto the benchlands is the open grassland. And it's a very unique landscape. The ecosystem is actually quite rare to this part of the country. Ranching as close as we do to a major city, it presents itself with some very unique problems. Most cities are built in valley bottoms near water sources, lakes or rivers, and just through natural growth, they have spread up into the hills. And of course, those hills are grasslands. So the grasslands were kind of viewed as just open space, just space to be paved over, uh, houses built on them. And of course, over the past 15 to 20 years, it's just accelerated. And the other kind of culture that we're up against is the ranchette culture. We get a lot of people from the lower mainland. They want to live in the country. The owners of these ranchettes, generally speaking, have no experience in terms of managing grass. And it just changes the landscape. We had an area of land that was kind of satellite to our main operations. The Nature Conservancy was interested in it from an ecological standpoint. It's in the Lac de Bois Grassland Provincial Park. It's quite a unique uh, spot. Nature Conservancy of Canada and uh, our ranch entered into a deal where NCC would purchase just over 2,200 acres from us. But at the same time, we entered into a long-term lease with them to lease back that land so we could uh, retain the grazing on that land and not affect any of our core operations. Part of our lease is that we maintain all the existing infrastructure, fencing, water areas, and of course we have to do it within their management goals and regime. It is a business deal, but at the same time it's a very friendly like relationship we have with them. NCC has been able to partner with ranches and preserve ecosystems that are an integral part of their landscape while maintaining the livelihood and lifestyle of the ranches. My family's been farming or ranching for over a hundred years. You learn to respect the land, what it can give. If we lose that respect, if we lose the desire to protect it, we'll lose it either through abuse or through just paving it over. And once it's gone, it's gone. <laughs>